In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Ubuntu desktop bootable USB. So you can then use this USB to either boot into a live version of Ubuntu or using your USB, or you can install it to your computer. So the first thing that you need to do is just click on the link that's in the description below, and you will then end up on a page that looks like this. So once you're on this page, you need to scroll down and you will then see the latest version of Ubuntu which at the time of recording this video is the 22.04. In fact, there is a version below, but I want to install the long term support version. As you can see here, it says LTS. So you do need to be careful with that when it comes to installing Ubuntu, because you can see below the 22.10 version only has support and maintenance updates up until July 2023. So you need to now go ahead and click on the download button. So once the .iso has finished downloading, the next thing you need to do is click on the second link that's in the description below to go to Rufus. So once you're on this site, you then need to scroll down and you now need to click on download under Rufus here and it will then download a .exe. So you now need to go ahead and run this .exe file. You then need to press yes to download any new updates and you'll then have a window that looks like this. So the next thing that we need to do is select the USB stick that you want to put the Ubuntu desktop onto. So you will need to ensure that this USB is completely empty and doesn't have any files on it. So if I open up File Explorer and go on my USB, you can see it's currently empty. So if you do have any files on the USB, just take them off as they will be removed and you will lose them. So the next thing that you need to do is click on the select button and we then need to find the .iso that we just downloaded. You then need to select it and go open. You now need to ensure that the partition scheme is set to MBR and the target system is BIOS or UEFI. You can now give the volume a label. I'm just going to keep this as the default and the file system we want to keep is fat and the cluster size as default as well. So we can now go ahead and click on start if you get this window pop up, just keep right in ISO image mode selected and then click on OK. You then need to click on OK again and like I said at the start, this is now going to remove all the files that are on your USB. So make sure there's no files on it and then click on OK. It will now begin to write to your USB stick. OK, so once that's finished and it says ready, you can now go ahead and click on close. And if you open up File Explorer, you will now see the Ubuntu USB with all the files on that are needed to install Ubuntu or use it as a bootable live USB. So I hope this video has helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.